Hi, welcome back to Manohar Academy. Till now, I have been explaining you the concepts in very detail, but this lesson is special. I am not going to explain you any theory or any concepts. I am just going to code. This is going to be a real time experience for you. So for simplicity sake, I am going to recode or code what you are, what you have already learned. Okay. So this is a real time experience and uh, let's see how it goes. So I am going to remove what we have done so far. It's all gone. Now I'm going to recreate it and it's going to just take one minute or maybe two minutes. Also, I'm going to use some IDE features. You will be able to understand the shortcuts that I'm using and I encourage you to do the same thing so that you can develop the things very fast. Okay, I'm creating the class. This is a test class. I want to test the class that I'm creating my date. Okay. I don't like these comments. Okay, I'm creating class. I want to have year, month, and day. To keep the things same, I'm going to also create error with a default value of AD and uh, the what is the other field day of week and i am going to hard code that just like what we did previously so now comes constructors because we want to give some default values or some values to the class i just generated default constructor and now I am generating the user defined constructor. So member fields are done, constructors are done, so member methods. So this is the method we created and it is going to return a boolean value. We want to see whether it is divisible by zero or not. At the same time, we don't want it to be divisible by 100. Also, if it is divisible by 400, then it's a leap year. So we are done there. Then we are going to generate the two string method. We are also going to generate getters and setters. They may or may not be required here, but I'm just generating them. Okay, we are done with our class definition. Now we start with our main method. Here we create a new object of type my date. And I want to call the constructor with arguments. At the same time, I want to print this object. Now I want to create one more object. ID takes care of creating a different variable name. Now I'm going to create the second constructor. Okay, let me create one more object, uh, but this time I'm going to call default constructor. Okay, good. And let me print that one also. Okay, we are we are done with the code. Let's run it. We got the same output. So in real time, it's not going to take that much time because we use IDE shortcuts and now we know the concepts why something should be private and what is constructor and all those things. Okay, let me show you one more thing because that is also very important. Okay, I want you to show, I want you to show something that, and I want you to remember that. It is very easy, but at the same time, please make some effort to remember this one. So we have a class. It will have member fields and member methods. 
first we start with member fields we define whatever fields we need and we want to keep them private then we define the constructors default constructor and also user defined constructor you know the compiler provides default constructor only if there are no other constructors okay then we define our member methods in this case we defined easily peer also we have rewritten two string method if there are any getters and setters they are going to be there so this is all we learned so i want you to remember this particular picture with a class with i mean class with member fields constructors member methods and some getters and setters so i am going to do the same thing in the next lesson also but in the next lesson i am going to explain you why all these classes all, all these classes are called reference types that is a very important lesson i don't want you to miss that so thank you for listening and last but not least if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe also if you like this video if you are benefited from this video please go ahead and like it also share it with your friends so that they can also watch this video and they can also learn once again welcome back to manohar academy see you in the next lesson